All right, this is a quick rundown of how the discovery numbering works. So I'm in a pleading created with Quick Docs. And on the pleadings ribbon, I've got discovery numbers here. Um, and let me make sure I have my cursor where I want it. I want them to appear here. So discovery numbers, and then I have ones I can choose from, but you could type whatever you want in here. So, and we can change what's in the, these come out of a database, so that can all be set up with something uh, more if you want or less. So I choose the type I want. Then do I want to include responses? Uh, if I do, choose that. Or you can do responses only, um, which does happen, but not as common. Um, okay, so that will be the question and response. Now I can say how many I want. I'm gonna tell it um, I want five of these. And start at, you can just leave alone if you're starting at one, but if you're picking up from another set, maybe I'm starting on number 14, then I would tell it to start at 14. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to show you something about uh, what happens when you tell it start at. So now I say create. I was gonna say, and um, it creates them. So what's going on here is here's your numbering. These are fields. I have my fields set to show as shaded always. That's why they look gray, but they won't print that way. Um, so this is body textile here. So you can just type in between these. Um, With your stuff and I'll copy paste to make this go a little longer so you can see how it's just body textile that's how the text would wrap now I don't really have a super fast way right now to add more to these let's say you get down here and you need more you just got to go back to um, discovery numbers and tell it which one again and then how many you want um, we'll say I want three this time. Now I'm not going to tell it to start at, so it should just pick up where these left off. And there you go. Now, the reason I told it to start at 14 is because when you do that, when you tell it to start at a certain number, even if it's number one, it puts a hard code. It's what we call, it hard codes this number. So if I were to take this one and copy and paste it somewhere else. It's always going to be number 14 in this case. Okay, so I copy pasted it three times. Um, fields don't update instantly, so I need to tell them to update. And with Quick Docs, if I'm already here on the pleadings ribbon, I could go back to discovery numbers and tell it to update discovery numbers. And you see nothing changed there. That's because the 14 is forced into these. But now if I take any of the others, I'll do this one. Let's say that you have a certain answer you're gonna do for a lot of them. You could type the answer in and then copy the question and response. Now let me get rid of all these extra 14s. Okay, I copied though. I pressed Control C on the keyboard for that question response. So now when I paste, it was number 18. So I get a bunch of 18s, but because this one wasn't hard coded in, I can go update numbers and they will just fall in line with the others. So what some people do is they will just do I'll get rid of the signature block there. They'll just do this. They'll go discovery numbering. Um, I want a response. Let's say this is um, request for production. Okay. And I won't put anything here. I'm just going to create one set. Now, I have a certain pat response that's going to be the case for most of my interrogatories. Okay. 
So I can take this now and copy it and just paste it several times. And now I could go back and tell it to update the numbers like I was doing. And other ways to update the uh, fields in a Word document, with Quick Docs we do have a button uh, on, under Power Tools to update fields. That will update all the fields in a document. Or, let me see if I can undo that. There we go. Um, if you right click a field, that will update it, but you can see it only updated that one. If you select text and then on the keyboard press F9, or with all of these selected, do a right click, <laughs> right click and say update. Uh, those are just other ways to do it. So um, that is how you can put the discovery numbering in.